using a rope doctor and don't move up to like a portable or a truck mat. Here's the deal. This cleans carpets. It does a good job. Uh, and if you feel like you want to use something that's more expensive and maybe more aggressive, go ahead. If it makes you feel secure. We've done, <laughs> we've done so many jobs with this. We're set. I mean, we know what we're doing. The machine works great. We're satisfied. Yeah, and we've been using it for six years. Yeah, it has broken years. Down, so. We've had no problems. Hey, people it. do ask about the clamp here on the handle. I guess I'll explain it real quick. Just don't move it around. No, this little C-clamp. This to stop this lever from going down. We had a little kid one time in our apartment. There's a, there's a, scene, just, there's yeah. a, there's a seam right here, and something happened, and the kid pulled up on the handle. No, he hung from, from it. it. Oh, and, and, but and he pulled it down and, and broke through. It cracked the seam a little bit, so this stops the handle from going, otherwise the handle will go all the way down like that. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got a pretty powerful spring in there for the handle release, and if you don't have something to block it, it's just going to keep digging its way further down into the handle. And, it's real hard to pull it back out of that slot, so the, we just the only, that block the only it off. real flaw on these machines is the is the handle. The handles, the, the screws will come out. It, it, they need Loctite on the on the back of it back here. Yeah. You want to Loctite all your screws, otherwise the screws will try to back out through the vibration of the machine. But there's really no problems with the machine. It's a great machine, but that's the one issue it would have. Anyway, here we go again. He's going to do that room. Huh? I'm going to run out of water. Yeah. He's going to finish that room. We kind of rake as we go. Let him keep working. Um, we use the Grand Green Carpet Rake, which I just showed you a little bit of in use. Right there. That's pretty much all there is to it. He's got a, probably another 30 minutes. We'll be uh, basically out of here. So... It took us about 20 odd minutes to vacuum, uh, about five, six minutes of prep time in between, and, and we got to work, and probably another half hour. It takes about an hour if you don't get interrupted. It'd take a good hour to do a one bedroom like this if you want to do it right. You can go faster, but if you want to you know, get good results, you slow down a little bit. And of course, if it was really dirty, it would take longer.